All right, here we have a soft latch circuit. With this circuit, we can control a relay with just the press of a button, turning it on and off. Imagine the relay like a switch that can turn on anything we want. In this example, I am using a 12 volt lamp. It is very simple to make this circuit from the schematic. You can pause the video and easily draw the circuit. But the most important thing is understanding how it works. Let's check it out together. When positive and negative voltage enters the circuit, the capacitor C1 charges through resistor R1 and R2. Then, when you press the button, this voltage reaches the base of transistor Q1 via a resistor R3 and turns the transistor on. Next, positive voltage from the top and negative voltage from the bottom reach the relay coil, turning the relay on. So, the lamp connected to the relay switch is on, and the LED on the relay coil lights up. There is also a diode D2, here for protecting the transistor. Now, one thing remains. How do we supply the base voltage to transistor Q1 when we release the bottom? Well, when we release the bottom, the base voltage of transistor Q1 is supplied through another transistor called Q2, which is a PNP transistor. When Q1 turns on, positive and negative voltage is generated on both sides of the relay coil and negative voltage reaches the base pin of transistor Q2 through a resistor, turning on Q2 as well. The positive voltage then reaches resistor R4 through transistor Q2, providing the suitable voltage to the base of transistor Q1 via resistor R5. So, even with just one press of the button, transistor Q1 stay active. Now, if we press the button again, transistor Q1 needs to turn off. So, the base voltage of transistor Q1 needs to become zero. To achieve this, we use transistor Q3 to discharge the stored voltage in the capacitor. When transistor Q2 turns on, positive voltage is applied to its collector, reaching the base of transistor Q3 through a resistor turning Q3 on. With Q3 turned on, the voltage stored in the capacitor is discharged via resistor R1. So, when we press the button once, the voltage reaches the base of transistor Q1, turning it on, which in turn activates transistor Q2. When Q2 turns on, Q3 also turns on discharging the voltage stored in the capacitor. Therefore, when we press the button again, zero volt reaches the base of transistor Q1 through the button, turning it off. With Q1 off, Q2 and Q3 also turn off, and voltage once again reaches the capacitor via resistor R2 and R1, recharging it and the cycle keeps repeating. I hope this explanation was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thank you for your attention.